Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 43 at chapter 8. In this one, this is a very typical model about the conservation of energy, a box with a spring. And also, we need, also need to consider the friction force. You can see at the initial position there, we have the box just attached with the spring. So the x1 is 0. It just at the balance position. Right, the initial velocity is given 1.3 meter per second. Finally, this box compresses this spring to zero and x2. We don't know, so we need to find x2. And we know when the box just compresses the spring, it keeps stationary at this position too, so v2 is zero. And also because we need to consider the friction force, so the friction force do the work in this process. This work will convert to the heat, the thermal energy. That is the work done by the friction force, right? The friction force is mu k mg, agree? Now we can consider the conservation of energy. Initial energy equals to the final energy. So initial kinetic energy plus initial elastic energy equals the final energy, final kinetic energy, final elastic energy, and the work done by the friction. This is this will convert to thermal energy. So mu k mg x2 minus x1. Agree? Now we input the known quantities x1 and v2. So this term this term this term becomes zero. And in this equation, we can very easily to find the x2 because the mass v1 k g mu k are given. So you can solve this equation quickly. Gets x2 equals 0 0.13 meter. The next one. Tell us, see, this is x1, it is at the balanced position, and x2, this box compressed the spring and it comes to stationary. And this one, it can keep, why it can keep stationary? Because the force is balanced. Agree? And what force act on this box on horizontal? First, elastic force, because the spring is compressed and also the static friction force, agree? So we need to find this coefficient for the static friction force mu s. How can you do that? We can see at the position two, the force is balanced. So that means the elastic force must equal to the static friction force. No problem, right? So in this one, you can see very easily x2 is given, k is given, no, given, mass is given. You can get the mu s very easy, 0 0.77. It's not difficult, easy. The third one asks you if this mu x is less than that. That means the box, the friction force cannot hold the box stationary at the x2. And then, what is the speed of the, this box when it detaches from the decompressing spring? So at will, that means the at zero, it couldn't be the zero, so the box will come back, come back, moves this way, agree? Come back, because the elastic force will act force on it, because this one is smaller, this one is larger, see, the elastic force is larger, so elastic force will push the box, move backward. And so, it tells us the detach occurs when the spring reaches to the natural nuts, that means at the balance the Position, right? How can we do that? Very easy. See, we can see initial position is zero, initial velocity and the initial position. And at V2, we can see this is x1, we think it is uh, zero, and x2 is a uh, station position. And uh, there, we can consider it is uh, negative 0 0.13 meter because the uh, spring compressed. No problem, right? And then finally, it reaches to the balanced position. This is uh, x3, still 0. And we need to find the velocity at this position, v3. How can you do that? Consider the energy conserved. So from x2 to v3, still energy conserved. So energy at the position 2 equals energy at the position 3. So this one, the kinetic energy at the position 2 plus the elastic energy at the position 2 equals the kinetic energy in the position 3 plus the elastic energy at position 3 and also this one, thermal energy. See, from x2 to x3, it moves this way. 
right? The fraction is this way. So the fraction also do the work. We have mu k m g x three minus x two. This one is a distance it covered. So very easily we can see after we input the known quantity, this term zero, this term x three zero, and this term zero. So we can solve this equation. Get v three is zero point five meter per second, and uh, you can see at the initial we find v one is one point three meter per second. And finally, when the, from one x one to x two and to x three, the velocity decreases. Why? Because the energy is uh, convert some part of the partial of energy converted to the thermal energy. This is there we consider the friction force. So when the box moves from there to there, from the x one to x two, x two x three, some energy is consumed right to the the thermal energy. Thank you.